All right, today I want to show you what is, is involved in installing a backup camera in a 2005 to 2007 Town and Country Chrysler minivan. So what I did was I had to fill a hole over here, a 3 8 hole I believe it was, All right, and feed the line through here. This one has a bracket that installs either in front or behind the screws so I put it behind so I ran the hole here and then I took the whole paneling off you have to take off the, where the handle is over here you need to remove these two screws and then you could pull the whole the whole um, paneling off all right then you also need to remove this paneling I just pulled it off put it sideways and you have to get access to this line here all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take there's a small camera let me show you what that looks like this camera over here I'm going to mount on the dash in the corner all right and it has one single line here all right and this line I'm going to trace on the bottom, going all the way down to the back. And that line is going to connect to this line, which I had to pull off this piece of molding here and feed the line up through here. So to run it into here, so it doesn't get trapped in the tailgate when you're closing it. And Hopefully it doesn't suffer any fatigue. So I took a snake, wire snake, and I snaked it through. Here I have it taped up. So I'm going to put this back over here and put this piece back here. And then I'm going to trace that wire up and pull it through here. And then I'm going to use, uh, just tie it all the way over here, all the way. So you could connect to this line which comes from the camera, All right? For the power, you have an option. I'll show you that shortly. So here I tie wrapped everything all the way across here. And from here along the window edge, straight down. And then I just put the line there's a small gap here you could just put it in I use a snake from here to here to pull that the line up and then I was able to close all of this up all right now I'm going to run the line on the top of the headliner all the way across and then down through here and then all along the edges all the way to the front of the vehicle Okay, so one issue I found out when I'm running the cable is that it's only 23 and a half feet long. And when you accommodate that, you have to go from here and make the loop around the window and then go down and then go down here and then go all the way through there. It's about a foot short. So what I did was instead of, I just made a hypotenuse here to give me a few more inches and that allowed me to pull it all the way through to the front all right so once again I run it down through here tucked it in here it's over here you can see it right there run all the way along the end try not to pinch it right when you I pull off that piece over there when you pull that off there's some clips you have to make sure when you trace your wire run your wire that the clips don't pinch it or else you'll have to get a new wire all right, then I pulled off. Let me go around on that side. Okay, so I pulled this off. Then I pulled the, tr the rubbers off here and pulled this forward, push the seat forward to get access. Ran the line in, around here, the post. Then along here, get it as well. Just remember, make sure you don't pinch your wires. You could actually, there's a channel under here. You could actually run the wire down there. And then I ran it up here. All right, and here's the connector for it. Right, the connector splits into two, so one of them is power, 
right? They did also include a pigtail that you could run straight to your reverse lights. But the pigtail is only about five feet long, so I would have to splice another wire in to get it all the way back to the reverse lights in the back. So instead, they also provided a cigarette outlet. And with that, I ran the wire under here, hooked it underneath, passed it through here, and then ran it across, and then up along here. Right along here. All right, and then I mounted it. On the sea, on the window. So right now it shows a picture of the sky, and you. But if you read the book, you could adjust the lines. I'll put a link of this product on that I purchased from Amazon. It's about fifty dollars. Um, I believe it actually went for like as low as thirty, according to the comments. But that's what it is these days, and um, I think it's pretty decent. You could adjust the lines across horizontally as well as vertically. When you turn the wheel, it does not change because it doesn't know that you're turning the wheel. So, yeah, I think it's for $50, it's decent. I actually purchased it for somebody else, but they decided they needed a bigger screen. So I decided, hey, this is the only vehicle I own that doesn't have it. So I might as well just put it in. So if there's any changes to this, I will let you know. Oh, one more thing. Actually, two more things. The connect over here, I'm probably going to tape it up. To make sure it doesn't come off with pulling on the cable here so I'm just gonna put some uh, electrical tape just to keep it together and one more thing let me show you I purchased a grommet assortment from Harbour Freight 125 pieces and I decided I would See, it comes with a whole bunch of them. I decided to put a grommet over here. It's right here. I don't know well you could see it. So I'm going to feed that into the hole to make sure that the wire doesn't, sh doesn't rub on the metal hole that I cut and um, in the tailgate and that will stop it from cutting all right and um yeah any questions let me know like share and subscribe thanks